Hi guys, Froggy the Gamer Frog is back. I'll be back quack and today Froggy wanna show you his handheld collection for emulation. So I will only show you multi emulation handhelds. So let's go quack. So we get begin with the PAPK3 Plus. This device it's been it's been a couple years old. It's not expensive, but I think this is a good emulation handheld for beginners. It has here this D-pad. It has a, a, a PSP like slider stick here. A, B, X, C and D buttons, volume up and down and select and start button. And L and R shoulder buttons. So let's turn it on. Here is a little fishy quack. So here you can see some games. In the beginning, that you can play, and here is the folder option. And here you can play games like CPS, Neo Geo, Game Boy Advance, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Famicom, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, Game Gear, Game Boy. And I can tell you Mega Drive, Game Boy or stuff like this runs pretty good. Um, and Game Boy Advance, nearly all the games runs pretty good. Not all Game Boy Advance games, but most of them. So let's go to Game Boy Advance, Quack. And let's go to Sonic Advance 3. I can tell you the bad thing about the system is the viewing angle is pretty poor. So you have to look directly to the display and you have not a great aspect ratio option which I can show you. If you go to game settings and you, here you go to close. Then you can see you have now just a tiny display. And this is not so great. Quack. So it's better if you play all the games stretched. So you can see this game has now a, a, an audio problem. No more. It has no sound effects you can see. So I don't know why. No, it has a sound delay. So you can see Game Advance <laughs> is not the best. Quack. I think the sound delay here is uh, really big. But okay, you can see, this was enough. Let's go to quit. So Game Boy Advance is a mixed bag on the system. <laughs> Quack. Let's turn it off. So the next system I want to show you is the PS5000 and this system is pretty good. In, in my previous video I told you 
it has an OLED display, but this is truly not the case. It's a nice IPS LCD panel. It has a D-pad, switch alike, analog sticks, you can see, switch alike. Uh, let's wait uh, until it's sharp. Now it's sharp. It has switch alike analog sticks, ABXY, four shoulder buttons, volume up and down buttons, and select and start. And you have a great aspect ratio setting. Let's turn it on. And the good thing is, with the HDMI port, you can play this on your big TV screen. This because it comes too with two controllers, but they are not so great. But you can play on your TV with the system. So it, it has CPS, PS One, Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Four player games, Game Boy Advance, Famicom, Mega Drive and Super Famicom. So let's play PlayStation 1. And let's start this Tekken. PlayStation 1 runs not bad on this device, so let's use arcade mode. Quack. Let's choose Eddie. Where you can see the viewing angles are pretty nice. Nice display. And you can see Tekken 3 runs here without any problem. And you can mod the PS5000 to play even more systems. So, let's quit the game. So, this was the PS5000, I can recommend it, it's good. So let's move on to the next system, and this is the big brother of the PS5000, yeah the PS5000, the PS7000. It has a 7 inch display, let's see if it gets sharp again, now it's sharp. Um. It has a D-pad, switcher-like sticks, just like the PS5000, all the buttons feel the same. Four shoulder buttons, but I will show you one problem is the viewing angle is pretty poor. It's really poor, so this is bad. So even slight movements up and down makes the display bad. Oh, you can see. So let's choose SD card. And let's choose, why not, let's choose a Famicom game or a Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, Let's choose Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Let's 
Nicht Schuss, Donatello. And it's really bad. You can't. You can only play stretched. Only in 16 by 9, and this is not so great. And of course, the display is not the best. I think the PS7000 is outdated. So let's go to quit. Let's turn it off. So guys, this was the PS7000. So the last system in this video, in my part one video of my collection of emulation handhelds is the Pau Kitty X2. And this is not the first version of the Pau Kitty X2 because it's the second version it because it has no analog sliders it has real analog sticks but not like Nintendo Switch a little bit not not the same quality it has a d-pad which is really bad it's a really bad d-pad select and start and the back button and a b x y buttons and only two shoulder buttons and you can connect it to the TV too. Of course, you can do this with the PS7000 too and with the PS5000. So, let's turn it on. And this PowKitty X2 has a nice IPS display, so nice viewing angles. But it's a little bit buggy. Sometimes it can freeze. And you have to uh, press the reset button. And you have to do it a lot on this device. So it's not the greatest. So why not choose a Neo Geo game, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, a coin, Let's show the bulky one. Quack. You can see the viewing angle is pretty good. You can play up to PlayStation 1 on this device. Super Nintendo runs not perfectly with every game. And PlayStation 1 can be a little bit a problem too.
But guys, I think this was enough. You have seen it. Of course, if you want to watch the reviews of these handhelds, of these emulation handhelds, let's turn it off. If you want to watch the reviews, you can watch my handheld collection playlist. And there you can find these devices. So this was the part one of my handheld collection for emulation. Froggy hopes to see you soon again. Froggy the Gamer Frog is out. Quack!